The government is considering the establishment of a new council, specifically aimed at boosting defense exports. A high-ranking official from the Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has said, that the Su-57 fighter jet was developed with the 50-year modernization perspective in mind, and has recently received some elements of the 6th generation fighter technology. Zorawa light tank has successfully completed firing trials in Yomaladark, while mobility and protection trials will be completed soon, after which it will be handed over to the Indian Army in 2025 for user trials. The Virupaksha radar of Super Shukhoi will feature over 2,400 transmit-receive modules, and will still weigh 30% less than the Russian radar, and will have an estimated range of 455 km, as compared to 350 km range of the Russian radar. China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation has started testing a twin-seat J-20S variant equipped with the long-anticipated WS-15 engine. Turkish Aerospace Industries is nearing the final stretch before launching the second prototype of its Khan 5th generation fighter jet. Ministry of Defense has awarded a 136 crore rupees contract to Bharat Earth Movers Limited for the delivery of 8x8 high mobility vehicles. The Indian Army is actively exploring the development of multifunctional robotic systems for mine clearance activities. Hindustan Aeronautics has successfully completed the Nashik production line for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet, and the first aircraft rollout from this facility will take place in March 2025, that marks a significant milestone for India's indigenous defence manufacturing sector. An Indian Air Force official has said, that apart from procuring 40 AMCA Mark I and 80 AMCA Mark II fighters, the Air Force has ambitious plans to further expand its AMCA fleet by 2045 to at least 300 units. The official also said, that the program has already gained significant momentum, and the first flight of the AMCA Mark I is slated for 2028, and production is expected to commence by 2033. The Indian Navy's recent acquisition of the Hermes 900 UAV has been mired in controversy, as reports indicate that it has struggled with satellite communication, that could compromise its effectiveness in operations over vast maritime areas. While Elbit Systems claims an endurance of 36 hours, Navy's actual operational data suggests an endurance less than 24 hours, which also raises questions about how the Hermes 900 managed to pass the Indian Navy's user trials. The Navy is exploring the option of using France's pump jet propulsion for the first two nuclear attack submarines to avoid potential delays, while locally developed systems could be used in the remaining four submarines. However, there are concerns that integrating France's pump jet propulsion would necessitate extensive involvement of French technicians and engineers, granting them access to critical details about the submarine's dimensions, electric motor systems and other sensitive elements, which raises security concerns about exposing India's nuclear attack submarine program to foreign entities. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.